We appreciate you for watching this video. For more videos, kindly subscribe to this channel. Thank you. In today's video I am going to share with you a rapture dream that was sent to us by our dear brother. Please feel free to offer your opinions and interpretations in the video's comments area. There has been no section removed and nothing has been added to the story, so I'm going to read it just as it was provided to us. Likes and comments are super easy thing that you can do to help push this video to a wider audience. Please, take a second down below and let us know how we are doing. And if you have not subscribed, please, kindly do so right away, it really does help us continue to make content that helps you. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Joshua Mabasu from South Africa. I had a pretty strange experience from the Lord around five to seven months ago. I had a dream that I was in my house, and for some reason, my house was empty, there was nothing in it, and I don't think I remember seeing anything in my house. I felt this feeling to peek outside the window, I walked ahead to draw the curtains down, I looked between the blinds and I looked outside to the right side of my house and in the distance I saw just a giant mushroom cloud building up. It was the start of a nuclear strike, and I have to tell you, it was one of the most horrific things I have ever witnessed in my life. If you've never seen a nuclear strike or you've never seen an explosion go off and it's your first time being exposed to it, and you see anything like that happening, you will understand what I am talking about. It's not a pleasant sight, to say the least, but I saw the beginning of a mushroom cloud, this flaming explosion, and I felt the rumbling and saw everything shake. The earth was trembling, everything was rolling, and my house was trembling. Then I noticed a mushroom cloud approaching me, it was so close to me that I can't even estimate the distance. I then faced my wall and began to brace myself for collision. Obviously, there is not much you can do in such a circumstance, but I turned around and began to brace myself for hit. As soon as the wave passes, my body begins to ascend. It wasn't a particularly large wave. I am young, and these things worry me. Yet you can feel things in your dreams. It's not a mystery that you can fuel things in your dreams, but I don't know how the brain can grasp something like experiencing pain in a dream. I was experiencing the actual wave striking me like a bolt of lightning. I've read about the timing of the rapture in the Bible. I'm not going to give you a day or an hour, but I'm confident that the rapture will happen very soon. As in the days of Noah, Noah constructed the ark and loaded it with animals in order to protect himself and his family from the coming disaster. They were unharmed. He felt neither the impact of the wave nor the devastation caused by the incoming flood. I saw the devastation of the entire planet in which 25% of the population will perish, which I believe will be caused by nuclear weapons. I am convinced that the rapture will occur when the nuclear weapons are detonated, and that we will be taken up. There is impending destruction, believers. I am convinced they want a nuclear war to bring about the collapse of the global economy in order to implement their one world currency, one world market, and the beast chip in your right hand or on your forehead, with which you will be permitted to buy and sell. Due to the limitation of time, I will now urge people to reconcile with the Lord Jesus Christ. If you have not yet accepted Jesus Christ as your personal savior, I respectfully request that you do so as soon as possible. I beg you my friends, there is no better time than right now. Please repeat after me this prayer. Lord Jesus, I am aware that I am a sinner and that I have sinned against you in countless ways. I really repent all of my acts and humbly beg for forgiveness. I am aware that you died for my crimes. Lord, I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior for the rest of my life. 
Amen. For it is written in 1 John 1 verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Thank you and God bless you for watching this video. Please, help us to push this video to a wider audience by sharing with your friends and families and don't forget to subscribe, if you haven't done so.